Hello all, welcome to my channel. Uh, this actually machine came in uh, uh, the, well, the other day and it had um, no power. So we determined, um, and you can see my previous video, how we diagnosed what was wrong. It was basically the charger, tested the old charger, no power. And then I took the back off because I didn't have a charger in stock. So I made sure that everything's okay inside, it seemed okay. Uh, ordered the charger and uh, it works fine. But what I noticed was uh, that the, uh, the fan seemed a little bit dusty. Uh, but I thought, let me have a quick look because I don't want to get back to the... When I switched the machine on, it was actually a bit loud, the fan. That's a bit odd. So I thought, well, I don't want to get back to the customer and then uh, they come back and say the, the fan's loud. Maybe that's the reason why uh, the, the charger popped because uh, it's probably uh, pulling um, too much power if the machine was overheating. That's a possibility. You know, I've heard that before. So. Uh, uh, so here's, I've, I've already took a couple of screws out, you can see there. So I'm just going to take off um, the, the, the fan, take out the fan. I'll just show you. Uh, so here's the here's the fan. There's a little bit of a, you know, we've got an adhesive sticker here just to secure it. So I'll take that off and I'll pop the fan out. There you go, you can see it, there you go there. And if you look inside, you can see that is fairly clogged up. Um, so that's not a good sign. I don't like seeing stuff like that because it can knock your machine, it can knock the GPU, the graphic chip, all sorts of other issues it can, can cause. So every now and then, if you've got a machine yourself and you're pretty good with the screwdriver, take the back off, pop one of these off and uh, have a look inside, give it a quick vacuum. So I'm going to take the heat sink off now and uh, apply some thermal paste, clean it all up nicely. And uh, yeah. So there you go, there's the, uh, the heat sink. Looks pretty wet actually, I wonder why it's wet. Um, maybe it's just, I mean you can see that dust there, all clogged up, so we're gonna give that a quick clean and then I'll uh, give it, you know, put it all back together. All right then guys, so uh, I've, uh, I've cleaned the, the fan. That looks uh, like new now. And uh, cleaned the heat sink as well, took all the, the old paste off it and uh, clean the board as well as you can see it's all nice and clean so I'm going to apply some uh, some thermal paste now um, I use uh, I use this stuff it's called arctic silver I've been using it for years and never had any issues it's a bit expensive I think uh, it used to be about three four quid years ago now with all the price rises last time I bought this was about eight quid uh, a tube uh, of Amazon which is Quite expensive for 3.3 grams or whatever it is, 3.5 grams. But yeah, let's just uh, go ahead and apply it. So I, I tend to sort of uh, put a little bit, uh, put a line there like that. Sometimes I'll put a bit too much, but you know, I'd rather have uh, more than less. And that's just put enough to apply Maybe one of these uh, little cards just to. To apply it. So let's do the little one first. There we go. And then it should be more than enough, and then I'll whatever I've got left on the card, I'll put it on to the heatsink so we don't waste it because this stuff is very, very expensive. So I don't like wasting stuff. So yeah. It's all nicely applied. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and fit it all. Pretty straightforward. It doesn't take long uh, if you know what you're doing. But this is just a guide uh, that I like doing to help people so they can uh, do stuff at home. You know? um, we've been doing this for 22 years now. Well, 24 actually. Uh, and in that time we've seen it all. We've seen liquid damage laptops. I had a MacBook in the other day and they um, were using it. And uh, unfortunately they had a, a water leak above where they were using it and it went straight into the machine. And uh, killed, the, killed the, uh, well the machine was dead. Um, but we managed to get it powered up and uh, put a new keyboard in it and it was uh, perfect. There you go, put that back on how it was. and. Um, Screws back in, there's a couple of screws here. 
and uh, well I hope this has helped you uh, a little bit in uh, fixing some of these loud fan noises. Uh, the rest of it is pretty straightforward. I'll put the back on, put the screws back on and uh, all that will be done. Again if you like my video please like and subscribe and uh, yeah get ready for the, the next one maybe one pretty soon. Thank you.